While New Jersey weighs finding people who walk and text like the public nuisance they are, you may have missed solving the plastic utensils landfill problem, yet another sign that we're doomed, and holograms finally worthy of all these Star Wars references. Welcome to In Case You Missed It, where we would never go for the lazy man's hollow chest joke when dealing in holograms. We're better than that, unless we had help. Microsoft is blowing minds with its research division's hollow portation device. We can see each other in full oh. 3D in real time. We can interact and communicate as if we're co-present. Sergio, can you walk around my space? Can you walk behind this chair? So that's a real-time hologram in full 3D. To do it, Microsoft had to create a whole new 3D capture system. The cameras can capture a whole dang body, then the data is compressed and transmitted to a user with a HoloLens. You can also use it to have a chat with family members. Hi, Bob, I miss you. Hey, Lily, I miss you too. You coming home. They can also be recorded and played back in case you were working too hard to see that darling little child. Hope not, though. That's rich. Your cat is basically heartbroken that you're never home. I don't think this is really the time to get into that. Is everything okay here? Or can we actually get some work done? Before you get too excited about the magical future, we need to real talk. We finally have proof that all the extra carbon dioxide is changing the chemistry in our oceans, meaning smaller animals living in the water are struggling to survive. This doesn't look too good, Patrick. It's from a summary of research that started in 2010, funded by the National Science Foundation in the sea around Antarctica. As the pH decreases, the amount of carbonate in the water also decreases. And carbonate is one of the building blocks of a lot of the shells that are in marine organisms. Basically, Mr. Snail here can't even build his protective shell in the increasingly acidic water. Since he is the bottom of an important ecological food chain, this does not bode well. One good way to cut back on carbon pollution is to limit all the stuff you use. And in India, they've got a disposable plastic utensil problem. That's why an inventor there developed edible cutlery. Delicious. Made from a dense millet bread, the forks and spoons come in yummy flavors like ginger, cinnamon, and pepper. What's more, these spoons are durable enough to stand up to soups and cereals without getting soggy, but unlike plastic utensils, will biodegrade within a week if composted. Even cooler, they'll keep without preservatives for up to three years. Still not tough enough for the end times door lock you'll need to make in a hurry. And finally, applied cybernetics freaks should enjoy this remote controlled expression maker for when raising your own quizzical brow isn't enough. The maker blogged all about how to make it with Arduino chips and the like, but the older, less controllable version of this has been around for a while. It's an ab muscle belt on the face. <laughs> Turn it up one more. Turn it up one more. One more.